Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 18. Um, so currently Hi. I have my baby on my lap <laughs> and he does kind of want to talk here and there, so I'm sorry in advance. But if he does get fussy, no, uh, hey, 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 hey. If he does get fussy, I do have to like um, stop and like tend to him, but you will hear cooing here and there, okay? Because he thinks I'm talking to him. And it's like, I live in Texas and it's raining right now and the weather is just so beautiful. I love a rainy weather. Do you want to take over this show? <laughs> Alright guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Is that really the truth? Oh, oh, this, oh, this jerk, Madame Lucrecia. Get <laughs> Count Chesare? Oh, good to see you, it's Chesare. Likewise. Oh, it's been too long since I last beheld such beauty, Isabella. I see that our time apart has simply added to your radiance. Oh, oh. I expected nothing less of San Carlo's fairest rose. Indeed, a rose has no other calling than to be fair. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? What I'm saying is, it will do you no favors to be struck with envy and strain to mimic the petal of a different flower. Bubba, I'm trying to read. You'll only be blemishing your own. Like today, for example. Oh! <laughs> Just struck with envy? I know not what you mean. Well, did you not? Why should I feel envious of someone who so beneath me? <laughs> I don't recall mentioning a particular name. Yet you seem to have someone in mind already. Uh, I see your intellect matches your looks. How impressive. Dang, what a burn. Gentlemen, are you not impressed with Miss Demare's stunning display of intellect? Uh, sir, I have to re-report this now. They don't want to hear a baby cooing the whole time. Uh. Now look, Count Cesare. I came here to be enchanted by musical delights. But well, here I am, entertained by a different spectacle altogether. <laughs> it's okay, you can talk. I'll, I'll, I'll record it. Oh my goodness. Now, how do you feel about that reading, huh? If that's it for today's amusement, then I shall take my leave. I bid you a good day. Oh. oh, they're laughing at her and she sees it and she's so upset. Yeah, she is mad. What are you all gawking at? Out, all of you. Oh, I'm the queen in this life. Episode 18. Chesare, my dear fellow, what inspired your sharp tongue today? I'm not sure what you mean, Octavio. Come now. I thought you were rather taken with the young Isabella de Mer. Was I mistaken? I am. What of it? She's a woman pr of pride, the eldest de Mer daughter, 
though I must admit her face more than makes up for it. Still, winning her back over might prove quite the challenge. Tell me, is this one of your ploys to have her chase you? Or could it be that you're no longer interested in her? Oh, his cold look in his eyes, like, Since when have you known Count Cesare de Combo? To cover at the sight of a woman and bite his tongue. Uh, if she covets, covets my company, then she'll learn to live with my words. Either that or have the sagacity to keep me from rebuking her so. Hold on. What is that word? Okay, I got it. Either that or have the sagacity to keep me from rebuking her. That puts me in a foul mood. I could use a drink. I shall ride ahead. Join me at the salon. Ugh, that obstinate tyrant. Uh, <laughs> Mother, how am I supposed to carry myself in public now? Did you see how Count Cesare looked at me? The, sh the sheer contempt in his eyes! <laughs> Not to mention the other noble debutantes. What if I become an outcast of society, of high society? My poor darling daughter. Now, now, there's no cause for tears. <laughs> oh. She looks at her own daughter with that much of a disgust? Like, that's so messed up. Why couldn't you keep your mouth shut? Oh. No, Mother. I, I just thought Isabella was in trouble. Besides, the piece was about to be played with the wrong score. What does it matter if some lousy hymn is played wrong or not? Your sister's reputation could be in the tatters. Can't you see that? <laughs> That's right. It's your fault that they're saying such slanderous things about my song. Your what? She still calls it her song. How? That's funny. Your song? But that's my song. What? I wrote that piece myself! You stole it from me. <gasps> Mother. Mother, you have to believe me. I wrote the song myself. Then Isabella took it as her own. The whole world thinks it's hers, but you have to know the truth. Arabella, you dare talk back to your sister? M -m mother She sna grabbed her dog. Your dear sister is a crowning jewel of high society and our family's pride and joy. Look at that scary face on that mother. Like, this is terrifying. It's, a, it's like, I know this is a, a fantasy type of genre, right? A fantasy or drama. <clears throat> but if, I, if I did not know so, this looks almost like a horror or thriller read because of the artwork of this. Like, gosh, it's stunning artwork artwork but it's kind of yeah this artist knows how to draw facial expressions really freaking well i shan't allow you or anyone else to stand in her way i'll hear no more of your wretched little tune do you understand now apologize to your sister at once hold a stick but, but it's Isabella's fault for stealing my composition in the first place. 
If she hadn't, she wouldn't be in this mess right now. I see you refuse to, uh, the air, to see the air of your ways. Oh my god. I've done nothing wrong! Oh. She beat the crap out of her daughter. Imagine what she'd do to someone who's not her daughter. You know, that's a wicked lady. Oh, she's limping. Oh, all the maids, like, looking at her, judging her. Oh my goodness, poor girl. Arabella? Come here. Is she gonna take it? Or she's gonna push her away and be like, Get away from me! It's your fault! Oh. She ran into her arms. Oh. oh, poor girl. To be continued. Uh, well, like, okay, we already know that this was like a whole setup. Like, my goodness. Ariadne did this. She planted a seed to pretty much pull people away from her half sibling, Isabella's, and her what her wicked stepmother side right so she started by pulling the maids the, the trusted maids to now the youngest sister who is her half sister and it's just it's kind of crazy that everything is falling into place of where she wants it to be wow i i know y'all can't really see my facial expression because i'm honestly been tired and I'm feeding my baby, but wow, I am so shocked. All right, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.